the bunny rabbit clothes really plays on those customer emotions. Let's have a look at it in detail and see how it can work for you. What's the best way to sell a bunny rabbit? Well, imagine for a moment that you work in a pet shop. You have a family in front of you with some small children and they cannot make up their mind about whether to buy the bunny rabbit or not. So if you were to let them take the bunny home for a trial period and only bring it back if they didn't like it, how many times do you think that would result in the bunny rabbit coming back? Now, what can we learn from this scenario? Well, it's simple. Always give the customer the opportunity to experience your product or service. Now this message is often the reverse of the psychology most salespeople and most companies adopt. Experience tells me that many companies are happy for someone who is going to buy from them to have a trial period, but are much more reluctant for potential customers who are unsure. If you've ever bought a car from a car dealership, you may have experienced this. It can prove very difficult to get a test drive unless you are perceived to be a buyer. Now, the truth is that the people who are unsure are not really certain about which car they want are the people who need the test drive more than anyone. Contrast this with many mail order companies who will allow you to keep their product for 30 days or more on a sale or return basis with a full money back, no quibble offer. Most people like to try on clothes before they buy them. Do they fit? What do they look like on? Do they suit me, etc. So the bunny rabbit clothes is about using your product or service experience or demonstrating how your product works in order to build commitment with your customer. Make sure you give the customer the best possible experience. Always use your product or service on a trial basis to gain commitment from customers.